why does why do you believe that Avion and Diddy owe you a check? Well, not Diddy. <laughs> well, Def Jam. Okay. Because I kept your client alive. All right. And at the time, he was campaigning Avion, and the brand was blowing up. I kept your like, where is these millionaires heart at? I'm just saying, where are you, like, where the f*** you raise you guys at? I'm just saying, like, yo, you took a bullet. Yo, take care of that man. And I'm mad with, um... Joe Burden, when he did the interview with <laughs> academics, because oh, she's shit. on them. But I told Joe Burden, I seen you, and I still do an interview for you. I told him, do an interview. He never called me. And if I told him what I'm speaking about now, he'd have been able to G-check Jeezy. What's up with that dread you took care of? All that real shit you talking. Oh, Charlemagne the God, and that's what got me mad with him, because he's going around telling people his homeboy. I'm not your homeboy. He asked me three times to be his homeboy, and I turned it down. Wow. You know what I mean? I'm going to go deep with it. I turned out kind of homeboy. I've been around the money. And they have days they be mad and not with you. They might be mad with the next cat. And then you hear them speaking. I ain't with nobody. I had a homie did us one time when I came from Cali. He's like, I'm going to disappear you. Turn off my phone for a whole, a whole year. And disappeared for real. I'm just saying, I know about with money you know he was going through some though but yeah. he was fed up of taking care of everybody mm. and i seen it around jeezy sometimes you see his homeboys in they used to be like dread when you see jeezy tell him call us they probably needed money or something wow you know what i mean and um i i, I denied it i didn't want to be no homeboy like i said i've been around with money i know how that shit go when them just get mad yo they start talking i'm gonna get rid of you i don't hear jeezy say that I'm gonna get rid of all you niggas. Or I'm the only nigga that gonna hire you. Crazy? We got hands and feet. What are you talking about? <laughs> tell him I'm selling. Maybe I could have made a check. Maybe I could have made a check. But he done sold his shares. That shit gone. You know what I mean? I just wanted a check. That's what I'm saying. Like, yo, and if you could sit down and make up with Gucci, you could sit down and talk to me. Mm. I'm just saying. If you, you know, it's crazy. When I had Blood Raw up here, I was, we said the same thing. It was like, man, if you if you can make up with Jesus, why can't you make up with your with your dog? But one of his boys, you know what one of his homeboys tell me? He never sit down with me because he know he's wrong. One of his home mm. boys told me that. His homie in California said, Jeezy better take care of you for the rest of your life. It just wasn't sitting right. Like, I took a bullet. You ain't paid for my. You ain't giving me no raise. You ain't giving me no compensation. You're not selling me thank you. He never told me thank you. He never told me thank you, yo. One time he tried to tell me he lost $4 million. I was about, about telling me I almost lost my life. TSA called me. Something, the bullet got out of the clip. They wanted me to fix my bullet. And, you know, talking to rich people is hard. Because by the time I came back, he's on a plane. First class, towel over his head. Yeah. He's going to sleep. His day is planned. He reached Atlanta. The truck is there. They gone. That's mm. dead. So... We never got to talk. He used to have a, um, his manager, Solomon, and I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You from Africa, Africa, the islands, the United States. I'm one of the closest to the islands, to Africa. Why is he trying to talk to me on like some corporate? He's like, what you want Jeezy do for you? Like, cut a check. What the fuck you mean I want what Jeezy do for me? <laughs> Yo, these like they weird man like they weird everybody's somebody bro you see the bible tell you blessings and meek and the poor they shall inherit the earth so who are us on the poor or disrespect them you know what i mean like yo like it's sometimes about liberty though and, and a lot of them they ain't got no liberty he's not i did something honorable bro bless me you go in walmart you get employee of the week they put you on the wall for sure we see you My and he i see you bullet. today what's up you yeah. know what I mean? Yes. Everybody got their but they receive you. Yeah. You go army, purple heart, green beret. 